From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Sometime more than a year before April of 2016, an anonymous source identifying him or herself as John Doe contacted a German paper named the Süddeutsche Zeitung with an extraordinary offer. This source claimed to have access to around 2.6 terabytes of secret data from a Panama-based law firm named Mossack Fonseca, which sold offshore companies around the globe. The source did not want money for this revelatory information, nor did the source want fame. Instead, they would only say they believed the firm was doing real harm to the world and wanted this harm to cease. The German paper accepted the leak. They partnered with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and spent around a year analyzing the documents before going public with the largest leak in human history. So what exactly did they find? Here's where it gets crazy. At the time of this recording, the world is still analyzing this data, and what researchers have found so far is profoundly disturbing. In the documents which range from the 1970s to 2015, Mossack Fonseca is shown to function, as the German paper notes, as a hub of a global industry led by major banks, legal firms, and asset management companies secretly stewarding the estates of the world's rich and famous, from politicians, FIFA officials, fraudsters, and drug smugglers, to celebrities and professional athletes. In short, to hide, transfer, and in some cases to clean, dirty money. By April 3rd of 2015, the news had reached populations in countries around the planet. Heads of state and industry were implicated, as well as kings. Many of these individuals worked through their relatives, squirreling away cash and, in some cases, circumventing sanctions. Sources traced money to Vladimir Putin, the Prime Minister of Iceland, heads of Chinese government, Middle Eastern royalty, Indian celebrities, and even Jackie Chan. These powerful people worked with Mossack Fonseca to create shell companies in other countries, informally known as tax havens, an act which, in itself, is not inherently illegal. However, journalists note the majority of these operations were designed to hide the identity of the actual owners. In other words, the people hiding the money. Some of these clients are out-and-out out criminals, like bank robbers and mafioso. Other shell companies appear to hold bribery money from corrupt officials. In some cases, this means the leaks are proof of illegal financial activity by some of the world's wealthiest groups and individuals. Others think there may be more to the story, however, asking why comparatively few Americans have been named in the leaks so far. Could this be a result of a conspiracy by one group to expose the activities of a geopolitical rival? Does the timing have anything to do with the recent Una Oil scandal? At this point, it's hard to say. Yet as journalists continue to dig and the average citizens of countries around the world begin asking tougher questions about what their leaders do behind the scenes, one thing's becoming abundantly clear. Mossack Fonseca and its over 300,000 clients have something they don't want you to know. And we've just begun to scratch the surface. To learn more about the emerging scandals surrounding the Panama Papers, tune in to our audio podcast on StuffTheyDon'tWantYouToKnow.com.